What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Major Twenty One here with another video. As you can tell from the backdrop, we have another Venomized Funko Pop. One that I, I just saw recently, and I had to pick it up. It is the Venomized Spider-Man. <laughs> no, it's not the mini. That's just the mini for it. It's the Venomized Spider-Man. Uh, really cool pop. I do love the pose for this guy's Walmart exclusive. Came out with the with the uh, Venomized Doctor Strange. This whole little wave right here. Um, I don't really like the Captain Marvel as much. The Miles Morales is cool, cool. The Groot is cool, cool. But um, I had to get the Strange and I had to get the Spider-Man. This is the Maximum Vintage, uh, Maximum Venom line, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like I said, this is the Walmart exclusive one, and uh, it took a minute for me to actually track this one down. They didn't have many in the Walmart, so I was looking at. And yesterday when I went in Walmart, I saw it, so I had to pick this guy up. Uh, really cool. I really do like the artwork on the side and on the back. That whole Venom look to it. Uh, this kind of reminds me of like an anti, anti Venom, the way it's kind of flipped. Uh, with the more predominantly white instead of black, and then, you know, flip flop. So I do like the way they did the uh, regular Spider Man costume coming through at certain points on the face, on the foot, on the hands. It's pretty cool. But you don't get the real, real full-on detail of this guy until you get inside of the box. So let's get this bad boy out of the box. So we'll see how cool it is, and I'll be right back. So here we have the Venomized Spider-Man out of the box, and like I said, the pose on this guy is really cool, really dynamic. I do like the little stand. Uh, these do break easily. Uh, I had the um, Death Crystal Morty when I opened it up it was already broke so do be careful with these because they do break easily uh, I do like the way they have like the little venom parts coming off his body uh, like I said you can see where the spider mans coming out showing more than the, uh, the venom on the spider which is pretty cool I like the way he did that adds a little bit more detail to this guy which is always a good thing uh, it came out this year 2020 um, I think right now uh, the Funko app is worth about 20 bucks uh, pretty cool, but I, I don't expect it to stick up that high because uh, it's a Walmart exclusive. And plus, uh, it's going to be more readily available really soon. So, uh, I would expect it to not be so hard to get in, get in the near future. So, just be on the lookout for them, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find them soon. If not, I'll see what I can do, and uh, hit me up, and I'll see if I can find one for you. But, um, this is a pretty cool pop. I do, like I said, I do like the pose of it. I have the mystery mini and i do like the pose with this one a lot more than the mystery mini i do like the way they did the spider-man they show more of the blue parts than they didn't in the mini so it's a pretty cool piece to have so now i have the venomized spider-man mini and pop hulk mini and pop and the uh thanos mini and pop so it's i like i kind of like doing it like that it's pretty cool that i was able to get it like that so uh yeah but like I said, this is a really cool one. Do love the pose on this. This is only my second Spider-Man pop. I have the uh, the one from Far From Home, the Stealth Suit Spider-Man. My wife got it for me for my birthday. So, yeah, pretty cool. I love these Marvel pops. And with all Marvel pops, it is a bobblehead. So, so there you go with that. But like I said, I do like this guy a lot. The level of detail in this guy is really, really cool. Um... My lighting is a little dark right now. Let's see if we can brighten it up a little bit. So we got a little bit of a little bit of light on this guy. But I do like this guy a lot. Like I said, the the pose is really nice. And like I said, just watch out for those stands. It it will break on you. So, if you plan on keeping this guy in the box, just be careful if it falls, it could break, so. But, uh, like I said, with the, um, with the Morty I had, I just put a little bit of hot glue on it, and it's, it's, it's fine. Let me show you, actually. So, yeah, this is it right here. As you can see, with the hot glue on the back, it focuses. But, it works well now, and... As you can see, if it didn't, it wouldn't. This pop wouldn't be able to stand at all, much like this one. So, just be on the lookout for that. Just keep your eyes open. But I'll give this guy one more view uh, before we get before we end the video, and uh, be right back. So 
So once again, this was the Venomized Spider-Man number 598 in the, I don't know if this is Marvel line. I guess this is Marvel line, but uh, it's pretty cool. I like this pop a lot. Uh, the level of detail is crazy in it. The pose is dynamic. It matches the uh, the artwork a lot, which is really cool to me. Uh, I just like this guy a lot. It's kind of like a pearly white on it instead of like a flat white, which is pretty cool as well. Um, I'm glad they're doing more Venomized Pops. I would love to see more of them. I do love this wave, this line, and uh, definitely, I'll definitely be buying more of them. But uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, hit uh, Share this video as well. Comment below. Let me know how you feel about, feel about these Venomized Pops. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. This is Major 21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.